Hello and welcome to the Metro MLS webinar reviewing market areas in Flex MLS. So in this uh, webinar we'll show you what market areas are and how to use this function. So let's begin. So to access market areas you click on menu and then underneath the my market section you click on market areas. So this may take a little while to load here, a couple minutes to load. But what a market area is, you can do a maximum of five. So basically, if you wanted to track activity in a market that you designate, that you do a search for for the parameters, whatever it is that you like to designate, and just track the activity, this will allow you to do that. Or it's one of the ways that you can do it in the system. So here, I've got three market areas already. I've got one market area labeled Bayview. So this is searching um, single family, two family, and condominium properties inside the Bayview area, that's the search polygon for two to four bedrooms, um, two and a half garage spaces and tracking active, pending, closed, which is sold, expired or withdrawn, and minimum one and a half bath. All right, so there's another one for Endress Park. So you get the gist, you basically are defining an area that you wanna keep your eye on. So to define that area, we'll click on new so this brings us into the market area definition screen. So let's give your um, area a name. So let's call it Washington, whoops, Ozaki, O-Z-A, vacant land. All right. So let's say, what do you want to keep track of? Of course, I want to see anything that's new, any price changes. I want to keep track of solds back on market and possibly expired. All right, so those are the events that I wanna track. Property type that I wanna do this for, vacant land. Time range to consider as new, you can do tw the last 24 hours, which is default 48 or 72, I'll we'll leave it as 24. And then the view to use for your matches. So I am going to select vacant land to match my property type. Then I'll click next. So now this is where I can go in and start to define my market area. All right, so I'm gonna add delayed in there since delayed isn't an option out on the uh, first screen we just came from. So I'm gonna do Ozaki and then I'm gonna boogie on down and I'm gonna select Washington. All right, and I'll leave it at that because I just wanna leave it as real general as that. So got those selected. Now I'm gonna hit save market area So now it's saving my um, search preferences and creating my market area. All right, and there we are, there it is. So there's my Washington Ozaki vacant land. So here, if I come here and I select it, it's showing me the events. So in the, in the last 24 hours, the matches have had one new listing match, a price change match, and an expired match. These are the other options that I selected, but it's zero. So if I wanted to look at that new listing, I can just click new listing and it opens it up here. So I can see all the information that I'd like to see here. All right. To get back there, I'm just gonna hit the back browser button and take a peek at that expired. And there it is right there. So that is market areas. We access that by clicking menu, my market and market areas. Again, you can do up to five. Five is the maximum that you can have um, in that screen. So if you ever need to make edits or changes to any of the market areas or delete them, you can also do them from this screen. So as soon as this loads up, I'll show you. So if I wanted to make an edit to it, you just select it, you hit edit, and then you just go into those same screens and make your edits. If you wanted to delete one, that's what the remove button is for. This will conclude our webinar on market areas in FlexMLS.